chronic hypertension in pregnancy. A systolic blood pressure of more than or equal to 140 mm of mercury, and a diastolic blood pressure of more than or equal to 90 mm of mercury before pregnancy or before 20 weeks of gestation is referred to as chronic hypertension of pregnancy. High prevalence of chronic hypertension in pregnancy due to increased prevalence of obesity and delay in age for getting pregnant. These are the complications associated with hypertension in pregnancy. Hypertension in previous pregnancy, chronic kidney disease, autoimmune disease like systemic lupus erythematosus, antiphospholipid syndrome, type 1 and type 2 diabetes, and chronic hypertension are high risk factors for preeclampsia. First pregnancy, age of more than 40 years, pregnancy interval of more than 10 years, body mass index of more than 35 kg per meter square at first visit, family history of preeclampsia, multiple pregnancy can also increase the risk of hypertension in pregnancy. Women with hypertension should undergo blood tests, ECG evaluation, urinalysis and 24-hour quantification of urine proteins. All pregnant women should be assessed for proteinuria in early pregnancy and once during the second half of pregnancy. A dipstick test of more than equal to 1 should prompt evaluation of albumin creatinine ratio in a single spot urine sample. Value of less than 30 mg per meter mol can rule out proteinuria. Antihypertensive therapy to be initiated for those with BP more than 159 by 89 millimeters of mercury. The BP targets for women receiving therapy should be less than 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury. If a woman needs antihypertensive therapy, aggressive lowering of blood pressure must be avoided. Women who have HDN before pregnancy can continue their medications, except if they were on ACE inhibitors, ARBs, or diuretics. ACE inhibitors and ARBs are contraindicated as they are teratogenic in first trimester and are associated with oligohydramnios, neonatal anuria, growth abnormalities and fetal death. Diuretics are contraindicated due to its concerns of volume depletion. Alpha-2 agonists act by inhibiting vasoconstriction by reducing catecholamine release, decreasing sympathetic outflow, and decreasing systemic vascular resistance without affecting cardiac output. Methadopa is the drug of choice for managing hypertension in pregnancy. It has been found to be safe in newborn. Beta blockers have vascular alpha-1 receptor blocking capabilities and so it is widely used in pregnancy. Labetalol is often recommended as first-line or second-line therapy for HDN in pregnancy. However, it may exacerbate asthma in pregnant women. CCBS inhibit the influx of calcium ions to vascular smooth muscle, and result in arterial vasodilation. Nifedipine, is very safe and effective and commonly used in pregnancy. A hypertensive woman who plans to conceive, should undergo a detailed pre-pregnancy evaluation to find out if she is fit to have a healthy, uncomplicated pregnancy. While managing hypertensive pregnant women, the physician must remember that management of blood pressure is more important than the choice of drug. If deemed necessary, physicians must consider using multiple drugs rather than worrying about fetal growth retardation.